Now that you've downloaded and installed the three things, to test them out, let's go ahead and launch Visual Studio Code here. I'm gonna open what's called a terminal. You can do Control tilde or Command J. I always go to View Terminal, and it'll do a bunch of stiff. And to test it out, first we're gonna type in Node, just to see if that works. Let me make this a little bigger for y'all. You can hit Apple Plus or Apple Minus. I guess it's Control and Windows, not really sure. That'll make the text bigger or smaller. If you type in node and hit enter, it should put you in a command prompt. You'll know with this little right arrow here. You should be able to say console.log without a zero. And it go, if you screw up, it's okay. It just shows you errors. But if you type it correctly, it should say yo, and then undefined as a return value. So, so far, so good. You can hit control C twice to get out of that. You can also do npm dash, just if you're curious, with a V for version. To verify it actually has that, and if you want to do Node V, you can see what version of that. You can run Node, you can run JavaScript locally, and you can install things via the Node Package Manager, which is NPM. Let's play with Elm. Let's see if we have Elm. So we type Elm just by itself. It should yell at you and say, yo, dude, I got all these tools. Which one do you want to do? Oh my gosh. And type in help, blah, blah, blah. We don't need help. That's why I'm here. Type Elm space REPL, and it should put you in a Elm command prompt. And you can type in Elm code, like one plus one. And it's two as a number. Fantastic. So to get out of this, it's actually colon exit. There are other ways of getting out. I forgot what they were. Cool. So you have node. It works. You have Elm working locally. 